Hey guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed my cover of Low by Wage War. I think a lot of you really did. The reaction to this cover has been really, really good, and I can't even thank you enough. It really means the world. I love the community that we're building here. I really appreciate everything. And now, let's get into learning this song together. One thing I'm gonna say before I start the demonstrations, as always, I have something to say. So for this guy, the song is very easy, and it's a shorter song. Well, I shouldn't say shorter. It's an average song, but it's shorter than the song I came off of, so to me, it felt very short. I think. Uh, the last song I did, the Fit for a King cover, definitely a lot more sections, a lot more going on. So to me, it definitely feels like a little bit of a shorter track. It for sure is one of the simpler songs that I've done, which is the calling card of Wage War. Nothing wrong with that. They just do what they do. They make things simple to the point and they just get the job done with these really, really killer breakdowns and patterns. And it's all at the end of the day, very, very simple stuff, which is so cool about this band, which is so cool about what they have managed to do because they're so good at just taking something simple and making it really, really hit hard. That being said, because of the simplicity in it, I looked for every opportunity in which I could find to overcomplicate the track. I tried to find all of the spaces that I could put headbanging in. I tried to find and identify and plan out all of the spaces that I could fill with stick tricks, that I could change the patterns or add accents that made sense with the song, that respected the drums that were there, but also added my own flair, added my own style to it. So because of that, the lesson video that I'm going to perform for you, the video will be a little bit more complicated than the actual drums that is performed in the real song, but this lesson I did simplify a bit from the cover. So this lesson kind of lands right in the middle between the overcomplication that I put into play for the actual video, the song itself, and then right in the middle is kind of like a version of both where we have everything from the song, but a little bit of kind of the things that I added in the actual cover. I hope that all makes sense. As we go through, I will point out the examples in those places in what I was just talking about. Let's get to learning. Let's get to the performances. Let's get to playing along. So what you need to know, this track is at 130 beats per minute in the time signature of 4-4. The entire track is in that time and that tempo. There are no time, no tempo changes throughout. I will be performing each section at 130, the track tempo, then going back through at 100 beats per minute. The first section we're going to play is a very, very short, quick, and easy section. It is the intro sort of chant that takes us into the first sort of doomsday feeling kick pattern. The section is super short and super simple. There's one thing I'm going to say. As I said at the beginning, I'll identify the sections that are sort of overcomplicated, and I'll tell you how you can play them if you want to simplify them. Them. The kick pattern that I'm using here, I am not playing a kick on the snare drum. I'm going snare, kick, kick, snare, right, left, snare, right, left. If you want to make this a little bit easier, a little bit simpler, and use that technique, that pattern that I just demonstrated as a goal to work towards, then what you can do to make this simpler is just go right, left, right, left, right, left on the kick instead of doing the alternating and then put the snares on top. So it'd be like, that sort of pattern. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. That's the first example in which I took it a little bit further just because I could sort of thing. It is a very small change, however, so if you are sort of a more advanced or intermediate drummer, I'm sure you'll have no problem just doing what I did. But if you're very new, you're fresh to metalcore, you're just getting used to double kick, then just use the right, left, right, left alternating pattern and that will make it easier for you to learn the section. Now let's get into performance. So here is section one, the intro fill now. Coming off that intro little fill thing, we're gonna go into the second section of the song, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna label it the intro or the verse, but when you get in there, you'll see the title. I will have picked one. <laughs> we'll roll with that for now. Okay, so for this section, this pattern here is the pattern from Doomsday. This is the closest example of this band sort of copying the Doomsday riff, but the overall structure of the section isn't similar to uh, what Doomsday does. It has some more going on. We're gonna first start with the pattern on China, then we're gonna transition it to a hi-hat version with a little fill that will take us out into a crash version of it, just moving sort of the cymbal placement around. And then to finalize it, the last little bit is going to be moving the snare placement from a full-time snare placement to a half-time snare placement. So here is the intro first verse now.
The next section we are going to come to is the first chorus. For the performance, I grouped the pre-chorus into the chorus itself because it fit better as a 16 bar section. That way it wasn't 12 bars or something uh, weird that it came in landing at. No big deal though, here is the pre-chorus and chorus one now. So after chorus one, we are gonna to come to verse 2.1. Just before verse 2.1 though, however, we do have this little two bar transition section post-chorus type thing. It's really just a series of fills that will transition us into this full-time pattern we're gonna play next. So that's all in this next sort of section of the performance. The first half of verse 2.1 will be a very simple right, left, right, left on the kick with snares playing a full-time pattern along with the hi-hat in synchronous strokes. And then the second half of verse 2.1 is gonna be the pattern pattern from the intro fill to take us into verse 2.2. Coming to the second half of this section, this is another time where I overcomplicated it just for the sake of theatrics, for the sake of performance, and there's sort of three versions in which you can play here. I played the medium difficulty version for this lesson video. There's an easier version and a more harder version, and I'm going to explain those real quick. In the video that's on your screen for you now, you see that I'm playing this pattern from the intro fill, but I'm alternating my sticks between three cymbals and the snare drum. That pattern for a more advanced player is going to challenge you and maybe help you to develop a better sense of limb independence. For the lesson video, the demonstration here, I will not be playing it like that though. I will be playing snare, kick, kick, snare, kick, kick. I won't leave the kick straight. I will break it up and leave the snare on its own with no kick underneath it, but I'll keep my right hand on the crash cymbal instead of alternating through the cymbals. Now at the end of this video, that alternating pattern, I will demonstrate and break down again so that you can figure it out and use it throughout all all the sections if you want to take it up a level to that but for this video to sort of meet a happy medium where it's a little bit more advanced than the song but not as advanced as the cover just to sort of meet everybody's needs as best I can I just left my right hand on the crash symbol so here's that for you now this is the post chorus the first half of verse 2.1 and the second half of verse 2.1 perform now The next section we come to is verse 2.2, which is a breakdown, and it is one of my more favorited breakdowns I have ever played, ever learned for a cover. It was super, super fun. Super simple, as I mentioned at the beginning, Wage War is really great with that. The buildup that creates the tension, then all that tension is released in this really, really hard-hitting, punchy breakdown. It's, it's really a, a great flow for this song. I really love that about it. So nothing too, too crazy to talk about in this breakdown section. There's one point where the China will reduce the 
amount of hits on it by half to create a very open halftime feel and then it will come back in after a fill. That's all I can really say, it's pretty straightforward. Here is verse 2.2 now. The next section we come to after verse 2.2 is the second chorus. The second chorus is completely different from the first chorus, at least from a drumming perspective it is. Instead of a halftime feel, we're in a full time feel here. It's a little bit simpler if anything, but it feels faster just because it's not as broken up, not as halftime. So with all that being said, not really a whole lot to talk about, let's just dive in. Here is chorus 2 now. After chorus two, we are into the bridge. The first half of the bridge is gonna create that tension again with the snare, kick, kick, snare, kick, kick pattern. So just as with the other times we came to this groove, I chose to perform it in that medium sort of intermediate level where I keep my right hand up on the crash cymbal. So that's how I'm gonna perform it for you here. If you wanna learn the more complicated version at the end of this video, I do go back through and demonstrate that there. So we'll get to that near the end. Here's the drums in the bridge now. Coming off of the first half of the bridge, that was the first half where there is drumming. Then the second half of the bridge is a drop out. And then after that, we're gonna go into the third and final chorus. The third chorus is very similar to the first chorus. It's just a sort of extended longer version of it. That being said, it is a variation on it. So there's not a whole lot of new learning to do here. And here it is now, the third chorus performed for you.
After the third chorus, we're into the outro. The outro again is going to be that pattern that I've been talking about at length. You can play it whichever way it feels most comfortable for you or whichever way you want to challenge yourself the most. For the demonstration, I'll keep my right hand on the crash cymbal. The first half is all crash cymbal. The second half is going to be played on the china and then the song's over. That's it. So here's the outro for you now. Great, so you've made it. That's the entire song. Congratulations on learning Low by Wage War. Just before I wrap up this video, there's one more section I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to take you back through the first half of the drums in the bridge where I'm playing the snare kick kick, snare kick kick pattern. But now I'm going to demonstrate it. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to demonstrate it using the alternating cymbal pattern that I pulled off for the cover for the more advanced players among you that want to challenge yourself with that sort of pattern, with that groove, that version of it. Once you learn it once, you just have to apply it to each section in the song where you use it. I think it's played three times. I could be wrong, but I think it's played three times for the song and then the only thing you're changing is now that you have the new more difficult pattern down you just have to change up the fills in each one of those sections and you've got it you're good so here's that crossover symbol pattern performed for you now Great, so that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing if you enjoy the content I have to offer. If you want to support the channel further, you can check out the merch link in the description below. Maybe pick up a t-shirt. Your support really goes a long way to help the channel out and guarantees that I can continue to deliver on the content that I have been uploading these past few months. So with all that being said, thank you so much. You want to connect with me further, you can do so. Links on your screen now as well as in the description below. And I will see you guys very soon with something new.